So now if I have to write the equation for f of x, these are the forces which are in x direction. So I would write them here. So now as we know that for sign convention, all the forces going upward is positive. All the forces, those are going downward are negative. Backward is negative and forward is positive. So for f of x, it would be, this is going in the forward direction, so this would be 100 cos 50, positive. Next is this force that is seven, going in the backward direction, so that is minus 75 sine 20. This force which is also going backwards, so it would be minus 120 cos 30. Next is this force that is minus 90 sine 25. Next is this force which is coming in the forward direction. So this is plus 80 cos 40. So if you calculate, the answer would be 7.95 newtons. As all the forces is in, are in newton, so this would be newton. Now the value, if you see, is the positive value. So the direction of f of x forces would be in the forward direction. Now let us calculate f of y. For f of y, we'll consider all the forces, those are in y direction. So these will be the forces. So if I have to write the equation according to the sign convention, it would be this force is going upward. So it would be 100 sine 50, that is positive, plus 75 cos 30, which is also positive because it is going in the upward direction. This is 120 sine 30 in the downward direction. So it would be minus 120 sine 30. Next force is 90, which is also going downward. So it would be minus 90 cos 25. Next force is 80 sine 40, which is also going downwards. 80 sine 40, which is also going downwards. So now, this, if we calculate, we would get the value as 45.9 newtons as negative. So if you get a negative value under the calculation of f of x or f of y, any value, then we what we have to do is we can directly write the equal to sign. It would become 45.9 newtons in the downward direction. 